Hi everyone. Let's see. Where are we? I want to bring out all the stuff I've been working on. I've been playing with uh, the cover. Okay, so this this is my uh, Walgreens when I pick up my medications. That's all this is. And I have cut the bottom off and flattened it out. Um, I think it's the right size, but I'm going to have to double check. So um, I think I want to insert this in a pocket. I'm not going to attach it because it's double sided. So I'm going to put that aside. Um, what else I've got? This is going to be attached to a page and then that will fit in the pocket behind it. So I'm going to put that aside for a minute. And let's just see what we've got here. So this is my first signature and I've kind of got this upside down. Okay, this is the first signature. Okay, so I've kind of placed things where I think I'm gonna want them. So I've got that pocket here, I've got the paper, the bag, tissue, designer page. This is the pocket page. Is this one, let's see, how did I do this one? appears to be glued on all sides. Yeah, supposed to. Oh, this is the one that had the two pockets. Okay. All right, two pockets. So I should have put notches. So this one has two pockets on either side there. And I put these inserts in the middle. So then it has this this is where the top pockets, no, this is side pockets. Once we put inserts in there, it'll be, maybe I only have one here. Oh, this is the one, okay. I don't even remember what I did, guys. Okay, so this one has a top pocket on this side and a side pocket on this side, and then it has a top pocket here. So that's signature one. Get that out of the way. I thought I was gonna be able to get these um, going on Saturday and then I needed to print out two pieces of cardstock. That's all I needed to print out, two pieces of cardstock. Lo and behold, um, I think, yeah, I put this one in the middle. Um, I couldn't get it to print for anything. So I spent the entire day trying to decide uh, or to decipher <laughs> what was wrong with the printer and uh, yeah, just had to turn it off and on. There was a print job stuck in it. Never had that happen before. Every time I've had printer issues, I turn the printer off, on, never does a thing, have to go through the troubleshooting, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, the one time I don't turn it off is the one time that's what it took. Oh my gosh, I just feel stupid. But I was like, okay, that's it, pack it up, I'm gonna watch TV. So, anyway, this is the second signature. Uh, this is the little folded paper we did. Um, we're going to decorate that, so that's why I haven't glued it down yet. And then here's our handkerchief page pocket. I just love that thin. Here's the, uh, what do you call it, graph lined paper and some parchment. It's not parchment. It's, um, it is parchment. It's parchment paper, cooking paper uh, that I tea dye on and then designer paper and then here's another one so we have a side pocket on this one and then when we open it up there's a little flip out here pocket here and that flips out and has this little pocket here with a little little choose joy tuck and then I believe okay so we have a pocket here we have a pocket here. I forgot this in the first signature. So both of them have big pockets on the outside. And then we have two top pockets here on this one. So then we have, put that flip back. Um, and remember, you can use this as your spine or you can sew it in this way and have this piece as a flip out. Totally up to you. I like the smaller piece flipping out because yeah, I, I just, like it. No reason. Um, I probably should flip, uh, you know, mix it up, but not going to. All right. And then you can see the back side of all of these. That's signature two. And I did have lace. That lace is on the bottom of that handkerchief page. So that kind of hangs out the middle. 
of the journal and I'm, I'm going to be adding more uh, laces too. The third signature we have the doily, we have the uh, what do you call this? Burlap. <laughs> What's the name of my channel? Burlap and Daily Bread. Oh my gosh, I want it to be burlap and lace and somebody already took it. So, um, and then after I cut this, remember I was like, this is a tighter weave than what I was looking for. I found a whole bag of burlap under my desk. Um, here's the music page that I folded down. Not sure exactly what I want to do with this. I think I'm going to probably glue that and make, make a tuck that way. Here's a book page with the faux stitching and a designer page. And then this one, let's see. Nope. I don't know. Yeah, this one has a side pocket and the flip. You need to put the lace on that one. And then this, we didn't tuck this one back in because it was drying, but just tucks into there. And then we did the corner pockets here and we have the side pocket here and then we have these two side pockets as well. So lots of pockets in that one insert. That's really cool. And then the back side, of course, of all these pages. We are going to embellish the burlap, um, and then I put the other um, pocket uh, back here on this page. In fact, I'm going to move that out just a smidge so it doesn't bend. All right, so the next step for this is the cover, and I'm using this bag for a cover. Like I said, all I did was put my hands in it and pull it out because you have these gussets on the side and then I carefully trimmed off that bottom piece. Now, um, depending on how you printed your paper, borderless or what have you, you'll want to take and, and figure out how the size that you want. Now, uh, mine's of course not going to be as big as, as uh, Francesca's because I only have three signatures. So what I first did was fold this in half and then I did a half an inch on either side. Nope, I did three quarters of an inch on either side of the center that gave me an inch and a quarter spine. Is that right? No. I did five eighths on either side. I wrote down the notes and I can't even read my own. So I have a one and a quarter inch spine and I have five eighths, five eighths inch uh, in between. So this has nothing to do with where the signatures are going to be sewn in. That was just my lines for um, making the size of the spine. So this fits inside like this. Now I went ahead and folded up the bottom as a pocket so that it would be like this and that would be fine and good except for the way we're doing the covers on this one we're going to be using um, cardstock. Okay, So these are two of the background pages or two of the uh, pages that are with the um, March kit from Pink Monarch prints. All the information's in the description box. Um, and this is opposite or counterintuitive of what you would normally choose for a journal. So when I first decided to print these out, this is what I wanted from a journal cover. However, the way these are attached is like this. And I really don't want that as my journal cover. So I could put something on it and then put something else on it, and I may do that. But I also printed, had printed out this one on cardstock, and I, I kind of like that one as well. So I may put, you know, cut this smaller and put it inside with maybe a layer of lace. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. But when I was doing the cover, and I hope this doesn't sound like a bunch of mishy mashy talk. You can see that this cardstock is eight and a half by eleven, so it doesn't quite do the nine by six cover that I normally would do. So I'm going to fold the pocket up a little higher. So I'm off uh, and a half an inch, right, from what I normally do. Let me set these signatures aside, and I'm going to have to move my pocket up a smidge. So where's my ruler? I'm just going to draw me a line draw me a line that um, 
will allow me to fold that up just a little bit more. I'm having a hard time seeing white on white, but let's just do that. Now I am going to ink this, so I, like I said, I'm just going to slide that up. Now I'm not sure that's going to do the job. No, because that only gives me a quarter of an inch, inch on either side. So I need to come up a whole inch to make that bottom a half inch. I hope that makes sense. But let me show you why. If I just go up a half an inch and I squeeze this down, it splits the difference. So I get a quarter of an inch on this side and a quarter of an inch on the, on the back side. If I want it to be a half an inch difference in the total size, and I'm trying to line up these with the pencil markings, I need to double it. That way there's a half inch on either side. And I think, let me burnish that. I'm not worried about all these lines because we're going to um, cover all this. I think that'll work. And you'll see that I still have made this six inches, and this is a Oh, an inch and a quarter, and then this is six inches, but I've made this eight and a half. So there we go, like that. Okay, and then all of our pages are just going to be the same, everything will be the same height. And there may be things sticking out, and that's okay, we do that, right? So you'll notice this doesn't come all the way back because this is only five and a half. Well, we're going to wrap the spine with fabric so it will be completely covered. Ooh. Maybe it's time to use this stuff. I don't know. I've been wanting to use it and haven't come across anything. So the first thing that I'm going to do right now is I'm going to flat, see, flatten this out a little bit. And I am going to ink around this entire piece. Let me get a piece of scrap had one sitting here. Oh, every time I try to find a piece of scrap file folder or something sitting here, it's a whole piece. If I'm trying to find a whole piece, <laughs> it's a scrap. So I'm just going to come around the edges. That way, if any of the paper, because this is stark white, um, you could use any bag for this. I just, uh, the other bags that I have are super thin lunch bags, and I just thought this is a little bit thicker. I thought it would give me a little bit, a little bit more structure. This bag is big for my desk, because I have all this stuff around me. just going to go around all of this both sides and I'll be back. Okay guys forget everything I said about the pockets this is not going to have pockets uh, because we're going to cover that so that's just extra bulk. So I took that off and I'm going to glue uh, this side closed just can't do a straight line to save my life. Gee whiz what's going on? Okay, so I am just going to glue that side closed. We're just using this for the foundation. And then all these little sticky uppy things. Got to give it a second when it's on that ink. Okay. All right, so I need to ink this bottom piece now, which is the only part that I did not, um, well, I hadn't inked it because I cut it off. You don't want the pocket pieces on there. Out. if you aren't going to do the cardstock over the outside like we're doing, um, that's an idea. Just use that piece for pocket. And... Um, but I'm not going to on this occasion because I really want to do those pockets the way that Francesca did it. Because basically when you attach this cover piece, you put it on so that it forms a top pocket, top loading pocket. Um, okay, so I want that fold at the top. And then when I um, attach this piece to the cover, okay, 
I'm going to glue this on three sides so that will make a top loading pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this as well because it's really too thin to make, you know, for me to leave as a pocket out on the side as well. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this one. That kind of will firm up those edges a little bit as well because this glue uh, does harden up eventually. Okay. So, I am going to put a piece of fabric. I think I've got a strip along here already. Um, yeah, look at that. Pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of red down here. I probably should have put this inside out. Um, I'm going to let this hang over just a smidge um, down there. And you know what else I'm going to do? And this will take care of that issue. I'm going to put some Tyvek. Um, just to make sure it doesn't tear. Now these Tyvek bracelets, um, I get them on a hundred at a time and I get them on Amazon and I'm just going to, I'm just going to put those in this space because that's where, that's where I'm going to do the spine sewing. Doesn't have to be perfect, but they should fit in there pretty well. And that will cover up that Walgreens stuff too. So I'm going to overlap and um, right along my pencil mark like that. And this will overlap in the center. I'll just run a bead in the, of glue down there. But I'd, ha I'd rather have it overlap in the center like that than, um, than peel up on the fold right here on this edge. So this way I'm inside that edge. I don't have to worry about it. And I'm probably paying way more attention to stuff that really is not important. But, you know, <laughs> it's how I do. So now that's nice and and uh, those stitches aren't going to tear. So I'm going to cut that off. So I hope everyone had a good weekend. Like I said, I was working on Saturday and now it's Monday and my daughter had an appointment and my husband was home so he took her. I did not have to do it. So I got to be with you guys. Oops. Wonder, wonder who's out and about in there. I just want to make sure that's good and attached. It won't really matter, and I'm going to ink over that. Um, but you see that red, that red issue is gone. So, all right, let me ink. This takes ink really well, the Tyvek, um, if you have enough ink. I'm having a real hard time with this lid. It likes to to stick, and I guess that's good, but so that it closes and doesn't dry out, but I'll pick up the lid and the whole thing comes. Alright, this isn't really going to show, but I want to make sure that I got my bases covered here, just in case. And this isn't going to show because the cardstock should cover that. And uh, for the most part, no. Well, I might need a little bit wider piece of fabric. Um, let me see here. What have I got? I I've got this. Here we go. That way, if I come over. A little bit. I can use these for something else. I can cover up that. So like a half an inch on either side and then 
I'm gonna go just a smidge over so I can make some little fringy bits. What do you, yeah, frayed bits, <laughs> however you wanna call them. Okay, this tablecloth, I have not even cut into strips this whole table tablecloth. I've been using this for years and um, yeah, it, it just keeps going. It was a uh, tablecloth for a big table, like service for 12 kind of thing. And the whole thing was surrounded in that four inch lace. I, I, I found it for, I, don't know, I think I got, got it for $3.99 or something at Goodwill. Never found such a good deal since, but all right, let me get all these strings off. I was watching um, Kathy from Paper Phenomenon, Paper Phenomenon yesterday, and she was cracking me up. She goes, oh, I got to get rid of these strings. I hate the strings. There's so many of us, we, we leave all the sewing strings everywhere, and you either love them or you hate them. So, kind of like broccoli. Okay, where is my... So, I'm trying a new recipe for dinner tonight. I have this gnocchi that I bought and I need to use up and my kids are the pickiest eaters. They're all adults, you know, so it's like, at this point, it's like, here's what I'm making. If you don't want it, make a sandwich or go buy your own dinner somewhere. They all work. So it's not like they don't have funding. Um, but if mom's cooking, you know, you might as well get free dinner, right? But I, I've got the gnocchi, and so I thought, okay, I've got some ham planks in the fridge. I've got this gnocchi. I wonder if there's anything kind of rest. So I just looked up ham and gnocchi, and I got this casserole recipe. So I was like, ooh, we'll try it. So it's like um, saute. Uh, before my camera popped off, when I sat down here to record, it said it was full, and then all of a sudden it's empty. So, okay, I've charged it again. And then when I came back, it only gave me 35 seconds. So that meant my disc was full, my uh, little SD card. So I had to <laughs> transfer everything over. And now I think we're good to finish this video. So I kept working because I'm limited in time these days. And um, uh, you didn't miss much. I think I was uh, talking about my dinner, uh, which was a deconstructed... Uh, ham and gnocchi casserole. Uh, if you're interested, I'll leave the link. If that sounds good to you, I'll leave the link in the description box. But it's, it sounds really easy. It's just gnocchi and broth and onions, and then you add ham and and a uh, cream sauce and add peas. That's easy. I'm calling it deconstructed because. <laughs> My kids don't like anything mixed together. My husband doesn't like his food mixed together. Well, he doesn't like peas. Um, and so I'm just going to cook up the ham, cook up the peas, because I love peas. And then make the uh, gnocchi as a side. So anyway, back to the journal. Um, so I made myself a little template. Um, just slightly under the one and a quarter inch width. Um just a hair uh, and I made each of these sides I think I did yeah half an inch I don't know why I wrote one there it's half an inch each section there and of course eight and a half the height and then I just divided it in three I think this was like an inch and a quarter from the bottom and then just the center and that was my template um, and then you know I've got the three holes that I punched in my cover and then I punched um, the holes in the signatures and starting with the back I sewed those in I think um, I don't know exactly where we were I think we might have been getting ready to fix this down I've just glued that to uh, the back and then because I had this part I put the Tyvek on the outside it doesn't really matter where the Tyvek Tyvek ends up um, but because I had this uh, printed on here I, I want to have that covered so we're gonna come in here and cover the spine so none of the stitching is gonna show or anything so it looks pretty cool um, everything's sewn in really nice and tight 
um, right now it lays really flat so I'm hoping I'm hoping that um, because we have the fabric spine we are gonna wrap some more fabric and lace around it hopefully it won't take out too much of that because it is nice when it can have a little bit of give to it but um, okay so let's put on the covers um, we've got to do that before we can get to the spine I'm gonna save this I save all my templates I put them in with my sewing bag as you can see I have a whole bunch of them for ring binding and all kinds of stuff I have all my little pincher things and all my needles in that bag and um, I probably want to ink around these so I'll try to remember to fast forward this part the fold is actually going to be the outside edge um, you don't have to do it that way if you don't want but you could just mat if you used a brown bag you could just mat the bag I had to write this because every time I pick this thing up I look at this page and then I'm like hmm wait oh I don't oh that's upside down and then I have to turn it back around so it's a little bit easier I'm hoping all the signatures are the right way up I, I knew if I had put this up at the top and made bottom tucks like Francesca did that I would screw it up so I left all of mine at the bottom but anyway okay so I want this to be a pocket so I'm gonna glue this and then attach so this is gonna end up being on the back cover which is cool um, but yeah so that will be there and we'll go right up to the edge and like I said it won't come all the way over so I guess I need to put the glue on here do I want to put a thumb notch I think I do on the other side because I'm gonna glue I think I'm gonna glue this down and make the pocket on this side does that make sense um, I don't need to have two separate pockets so I'm gonna go ahead and glue well let's let's go ahead and make our notch the notch will be on the inside piece yeah so we have five and a half and half of five and a half is two and a quarter right that doesn't look right half of five and a half is two and three quarters that looks better okay and then <clears throat> Just to let everybody know that there is a pocket there and then we will glue the one piece to the front I left this open guys I hope I can recover it <laughs> I left it open for a couple of hours while I went to the bank oh yeah it's coming out a little clumpy but I think we'll recover um, yeah so my daughter you know she got married a couple months ago went to the bank to change her name and they wouldn't let her do it because I was on the account which I don't understand what one thing has to do with the other but they said I had to be removed from the account for her to change her name that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard of anyway so I went and I mean she doesn't need me on her account she's got her husband now so he can be on her account I'm just gonna center that because it's slightly smaller and then I just want to make sure that that is nice and attached I'm a little concerned about this edge right here lifting up when I put stuff in this pocket but I think I'm just gonna add some glue to it now this one this one will be okay well there's nothing there it's on the other side so just this I just want to get that down flat so that it's not hitting that every time and I probably should have just matted it but that's okay get that down and dry and then get off the excess and we'll be good we 
Well, and it's not the end of the world if I stick something in the pocket and it bends that piece of paper. Nobody's even going to see it, so... Got a little bit too much. Whoops. Okay. Now I do want to get that back. Pop, pop that down. I think I probably didn't put enough on there. And that's why that's popping off. Let that sit for a second. Okay, so now I'm turning it upside down and I'm going to run this along the edge. And I guess I'll run right along here. I think that probably should glue this because I'm not sure exactly where that is going to land. Yeah, I, I just barely missed it. Well, that's okay. I'm going to put some tr some edging along there. So it'll be fine. Okay. Let's put some of this beautiful stuff. I'm going to put this on the cover too. But I want to put this right along the edge. Big blob there, I didn't mean to do. Alright. I just think this is really pretty. Probably putting it on upside down. I don't think it matters. Okay. Just like that. And my scissors have something sticky on them. I was trying to cut some lace and they were not cooperating. So, there we go. This is very similar to the lace I used on that last journal. Um, how it's woven in between and when you cut it you get these little pieces. So as long as you get the glue on there you're good. Okay, I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute. I'm going to do the other side and then I'll be back. Okay, we're back. So we've got the front cover on and doesn't that look pretty with that? This is the back side of this image, right? So, yeah, that looks cool. Um, I think I did it upside down because I originally wanted this on the... No? That's... I don't know. It doesn't matter. It looks cool regardless. Do I have the back side showing? No, because this is at the bottom. This is how I'm going to tell. I'm not going to I'm going to have tags and such at the top, but I'm not going to have ribbon hanging out. And I I do want to put a couple more pieces of ribbon in the other signatures. So this is the back side, looks real pretty. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Make sure I got that good and glued down. Got the pocket here. You shouldn't have any issues with the bag because we glued that all the way down. Um and same thing here. And so I think I'm going to find the middle of the signature and we're going to cover the spine. So I think I want to draw a line because I'm not perfect at getting things straight. Um, not that it has to be perfect, but uh, might as well use every little bit of help. Now I've already cut a piece, so let me see about where it's going to come to. Um, maybe let's do, I don't want to cover up too much of that rose on the back, so let's just, yeah, I think centering it will be fine, so how much is that? About three quarters of an inch, let's, right down the middle of this ruler, okay, and I'm just going to, and that leaves all the flowers intact. I'm just going to draw a guideline for myself, and then I am going to uh, just glue one section at a time, okay? One section at a time. We're going to start with this little three-quarter 
it might be closer to an inch. How? No, it's three quarter. We measured it. Duh. Um, start with this little section, and I'll use my instead of using my finger, use my little palette thingy that I always forget. But just to flatten out that glue. so I don't get a lot of bleed through. And then I'm going to turn this around this way so I can see and line that up like that. Okay. And we are going to put more of this on the front as well. So get that down there make sure I have enough glue where I need it if you give it a second then you um, let that acetone dry sometimes you get a little bleed through anyway and you know what it doesn't it's not the end of the world, especially with a grungy journal. I don't know why this all stuck. That's from when I was trimming it. I had it all fringed up, and then I decided to do the lace, and it looked funny. So, anyway. All right. So next, I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to work my way south, I guess. The way, the, with the orientation that I have at the moment, it's going to be southwest, but just a little bit at a time, have as little bit of that bleed through as possible. And I'm going to continue doing this and I will fast forward it a little bit. Okay, so now I want to open this and just make sure everything is down really well. Get that piece in. I think I'm going to have to paper clip that one. Okay, and then rub off this excess glue. to put a piece of lace over the top. So I'm just going to kind of repeat the process. This is just using that wedding lace that I got at Hobby Lobby. Uh, and it might be short, but that's okay. We can fix it with the lace. So I'm going to come along right along the edge of the fabric to line it up. And then I'm just going to make circles. OK, 
can always add more if we need more. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to dry, and then I'm going to trim off this edge because I can see it's a little crooked, and um, I guess I can go ahead and put the edge on. Let's do that on here. I'm going to run it right along the edge of that lace. In fact, by the time I'm done with this, that piece may be, may be dry. I'm trying to figure out which piece I've been using because I had two of them. I'll use the shorter piece here. It has some glue gunk. Trying to make sure if it looks even or crooked or what. It looks good. Let's see, I've got it pretty close. I can't I can't do it backwards, so about four and a half. Yeah, that's good. That's close enough. Then we'll clip this one off. Turn it around and do the front. Like I said, if this starts lifting and we need to add something to it, we will. But I'd rather have to go back and add glue than, than have too much. Okay. And I'm going to snip this one too. Oh, okay. Let's just use this side. That. Okay, that looks really nice. Four and a half, four and a half. That looks good. I like it. Snip it. Okay, so I am. I think I'm going to leave it open to dry just so I can make sure that all of this stays and it may not, um, which is okay. It's it's not going to come off the cover, but it may separate a little bit because that's the nature of this. This is polyester lace, so it doesn't always stay with the glue, um, but it'll be okay. All right, so I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute and then I'll be back. Okay, that looks pretty, don't you think? I like it. I don't know if we're going to do anything else to the cover or not. We'll see. Um, but let's go ahead and add the other ephemera that we have here. We have a pocket and another pocket. And I think I want to put this pocket in the front here. I think I can just leave the rest in there and then we'll do three sides pocket on a pocket I'll probably just put some writing paper in there maybe some coffee dyed cardstock um, if I have any um, I did have some but I think I might have used it in the last journal we'll see all right so yeah that's gonna work out just perfectly I'm gonna put it right up the edge and um, yeah maybe a 
sixteenth of an inch there from the edge so that it doesn't get snagged. But yeah, because it's a soft cover, it doesn't have. <laughs> I don't have anything to to uh, clip it to, and you can see that that's lifting. So I'm going to use some clips on this. Let's, I happen to have these right here because I want to make sure that that's good and glued down and doesn't keep lifting up all the time. I think this paper clip will work. Yep. And same thing on the bottom. Looks like it's pretty good and glued on the bottom, but just in case. Um, thought I had another one. Every time I pull these paper clips out, they're all in a cluster. Okay. Oh, by the time you get all these clips on here, it's pretty much made its decision whether it's going to stick or not. There's not really anything I can do about this side. Just want to make sure that's making good contact. Stick this stuff back in here. I think I'm going to stick this one in the back and this one in the middle just to give it a little bit of interest. Okay, that looks good. Now let's do the back side. And then we'll put some lace on some pockets. Same thing here. Three sides. I've used a lot of glue already. That's amazing. Because I pretty much filled it to the top. There we go. And there again. I'm gonna have to come over here. This one, this one's gonna have to be right on the edge because of that. Not quite as far over with this lace. So that's okay. Probably don't need to hold this, clip this one down. That front one, for some reason, was. It's kind of thick, you know, it is cardstock, so if it, right here I have a place to kind of smash it down and hold it, so it's okay. That looks good. I love these um, ephemera pieces. So let's see. I want this one up here in the middle. with our lady and then we'll just poke this one in the back like that and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and clip this down just to see make sure for extra good measure but I think we're good on that and I'll take all these off because I'm pretty sure we're good on this one all right so we have this um, stacked pocket that I, since there's only one of them, I'm going to put it in the center, not in the center, but in the middle um, section. Where do I want to put it? Um, Maybe I don't want to put it in the middle section. I think I'll put it right there, actually. Yeah, that'll work. So I don't need the paper clip. It needs to be, it could be right or, yeah, it needs to be right side because if you're left, you're going to have your image upside down. So this is very, very sturdy. And I want to put it there. So 
I am going to glue on the top, pay attention Christy, top bottom left so I have the right open. Top and bottom. Left. And yeah, let's put that about right there. I guess I'll go ahead and take that clip out. So make sure that this stays where I put it. That looks so cool. And then I need to make a pocket, probably on the opposite page, on the opposite side of this one, I'll make a pocket. Um, where would that be? In this page? No. this page. I will make a pocket to uh, hold that. Or I may, uh, it won't fit in the front pocket. And, and I may not even include it in here. I may, because it's very, very thick, so I may just uh, include this with the journal instead of attaching it to the journal. Because I don't think that's going to I know it's not going to stick, but I, I'm thinking that would have to be a huge pocket. Look how big this is on this side. So, have to be a pretty good sized pocket to get that into. So, alright, so we've got this file folder here. Make sure that it fits, yay! Like such. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to do some fussy cutting, and then we'll be back and uh, decorate some pieces, parts, and stick them in the journal, and we'll be about done. I'm probably just going to wrap this up. Um, I tried wrapping with a piece of lace like this. I, I don't care for it because it's too stiff. Um, but I may just use the, um, not sorry silk, but, uh, you know what I'm saying. This stuff. Uh, hug, snug, seam binding. There we go. I may use some of that to tie it up because I really do like when it has that big bow there on the corner. So anyway, I'm going to do some fussy cutting and we'll be back. See you next time.